Hello, this video is to demonstrate how to flush AeroVane 2 using a helical clamp instead of a straight clamp on the AeroVane jig. Right now in front of you is the AeroVane jig with one arrow and the latest laser system. The laser system is not needed. To flush an AeroVane, first of all, you notice as typically the fine knot using a straight clamp. Then this is how we have put a straight clamp on an AeroVane 2. That itself will work for very high speed bow like 290 feet and up and some people can go as low as 260 feet per second but for the people who should be low that a helical clamp is recommended this is what a typical helical clamp, helical clamp look like for the demonstration purposes we're using the Bitsenberger helical clamp as you see this is a brand new helical clamp and you clamp the arrow vein just like normal you see that it goes on there now the real problem is when you do this you can see there's a huge gap between the space and the clamp. So the adhesion of the jig to the clamp, to the shaft, is never perfect. So what we, we do, now we actually have to shave off this part of the helical clamp to bring the entire clamp lower so that the clamp will actually ride perfect on the shaft instead of this huge gap right here. You can see the gap is right there. To do that, we take the clamp, we'll start shaving from the front back on all the way to about the word dial fletch. That's about as far as you want to go. And you keep fouling this part until it goes down. Now after a little bit of fouling, your clamp will actually begin to look like this. See the difference? See how this whole part is gone? and the filing part just right, right here and the moment you put a final arrow wing 2 on it and you put it on the helical clamp you can see the gap disappeared and that's how you do it now let me show you what the end result is we'll, first of all we'll clean the shaft and of course this will be the demonstration of how to flush arrow wing 2 using the correct procedure the first you do is that you you have two bottles of acetone. This is a small bottle. That's for cleaning purposes. And not, no, this is not for cleaning. This is actually for flushing. And you need another bottle, which is the bigger bottle, which you can obtain in Walmart for cleaning. That's what you do first. You dig the entire arrow into acetone. Take it out. Let it drip dry. You can see it's drying very fast. Use paper towel, you clean the entire shaft out of any residue. Then you put the shaft, without touching anything, into the arrow vein jig. Now this is ready, make sure it's on zero. You pick up your shaved, or what we call modified, here you go clam. Use the Q-tips. You dip into the into the acetone. Then you wipe it from the back like that, and you instantly dry it. This is extremely important because if you don't do that, the entire process of drying is technically become useless. Make sure you absolutely dry it. See that that is now dried. The process of this is that when you put the acetone on, you lift all the oil. If you don't wipe it again with a clean side, the oil will maintain there. And that's how you put the AeroVing Glue AG0600. Very lightly, and that's what I usually do. And then you put it on the system. It should take no more than about 10 seconds. You open it first, turn, that's your first thing. Now we're going to do the second one, same thing. We put the arrow vein on the bottom. We use a Q-tip. We dip in the acetone on one side. We wipe and we drive with the other end. Then we put the arrow vein glue on.
it's more one, it's more two, it's more three, it's more four, it's more five, it's more six. Okay, that should be ready for the second one. You open it, you rotate the clamp. One, two. Now the third one. Dip in the acetone, wipe, dry, glue. Oh, just like that. You open the clamp, you rotate, and all three is done. If we want to check for perfection, that's how the fine nut laser worked. You can see it's a little bit offset, just like we say it would be. And that's how you put a helical using a strict flutch on an arrow ring clamp. Thank you.